hi guys welcome to my channel today i'll be doing a makeup look that i never do i need to show you guys something different so i was watching a lot of inspiration videos and photos and i came across this one and i loved the blue like bold eyeliner here's the thing though i don't have the equipment to do something like this because i don't have the interest to do it so today i'm gonna use with the tools that I have and makeup that I have and have my own twist to this look. It's just the inspiration. Anyways, hopefully it works out. I'm starting off with this foundation powder from IT. It doesn't match me and I thought I'd use it as a eyeshadow since it's full coverage and it works perfect. For the blue eyeliner, I'm going to use this palette. It actually came from a secret Santa from our family and it's such a cute it's so cute it's the Sanrio characters Karomi, My Melody and Cinema Roll and I think it came from Hot Topic it's just so adorable but anyways I'm using this blue color and I had to dip my brush with a little bit of water so that like it becomes more full coverage i get more product and i'm spreading it to my lash line here's the thing about the swing part like i don't know what am i doing like i don't know how to explain it to you guys just flick it i guess to the right area i don't even know any tips and tricks for eyeliner it's not my thing i just do it so I'm glad it worked out for this video because this was my first attempt and I'm kind of taking the product and spreading it into my waterline to give it that like effect because I don't even have the eyeliner. I don't have blue eyeliner. So I don't know why I added black eyeliner. I thought that maybe it would make the blue pop out better or help with the eye makeup look stand out better. Like something was missing so I added the black eyeliner. But at the same time, I feel like the black eyeliner hides the blue. So I tried not to drag the wing that much out. Just a little wing. Maybe we add a little bit more. What do you guys think? Do you think the black was necessary? I kind of think it was necessary. I don't know. Again, I looked at a picture. And it motivated me to do this so here we are i wish i had eyeliner crayons that were like super bold blue color but i don't maybe after this video i should go shopping for blue products i know i should for foundation um well first this concealer part i'm using the urban decay all nighter it's my favorite concealer for blush i love using matte lipsticks they're perfect it doesn't have to be matte but don't use glossy of course and it just works perfectly because it blends and you can spread it on your face and it turns out to be pink for setting the makeup i'm using the maybelline foundation powder i just love this thing it works perfectly for blush i'm using the eyeshadow color that came in the palette because it just makes the blush stand out setting my makeup with the maybelline loose powder adding it to the area that creases and needs to be brightened for freckles I'm using the Rose Art Marker. Here's the thing, I think this one's old because it doesn't spread as much product. It's very faint and it works perfectly. I guess if you have a brown marker, let it sit out. I really recommend the Rose Art. I tried Crayola and all sorts of stuff. This one is my favorite, but I don't know if it's because it was the one that dried out the most. Now for eyeshadow under the eye i'm using the same one that i used on my base 
this color really pops out for me so i guess for this look try to find an eyeshadow that matches that color i got this mascara from marshall's for 3.99 or tj maxx i mean this is my second time buying it it's 3.99 and it's from milani i love this thing like for 3.99 it's pretty much the best mascara I've ever used. It doesn't flake at all. Like I've never noticed a single flake under my eyes from this mascara. I really recommend it. For a lipstick, I'm using lip gloss and here's the final look. What do you guys think? Should I incorporate blue in my life more? I don't know what's going on with the baseball cap. I thought like it would help bring that type of look but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the baseball cap did not match match this look. But anyways, I want to introduce to you guys something I've been so excited about. I got the Dossier perfumes. I never tried the vanilla from them. And I decided that I tried the ambery vanilla because I felt like the name of it gives off a vanilla vibe. I'm a big vanilla fan. So anyways, here's the thing about the ambery vanilla. It's a mix of, you know what it's perfect for? Like if you're going out at night and you want to smell cozy but fancy at the same time. And I wanted to get the gourmand white flower because, well, I'm a big flower fan when it comes to perfumes, like a cute flower and it's so hard to find a cute flower this one unfortunately smells a little bit fancy than cute if that makes any sense like a fancy woman wearing perfume it turns out that i like the ambery vanilla more because that's just my type of thing the gourmand white flowers was perfect for being fancy but not in terms of being like a cute flower I love body sprays and stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please check out the links for the perfumes and makeup products. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.